You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, July 17th, 2021. This preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'll be reading the narration that will be autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's ministry message, Eternal Life and My Neighbor, Romans chapter 14, verse 7 through 15. For none of us live to himself, and none of us dies to himself. For if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother? Or you, why do you despise your brother? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God, for it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then each of us will give an account of himself to God. Therefore, let us not pass judgment on one another any longer, but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother. I know and persuade in the Lord Jesus that nothing is unclean in itself, but is unclean for anyone who thinks it's unclean. For if your brother is grieved by what you eat, you're no longer walking in love, but what you eat, do not destroy the one for whom Christ died. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, July 17th, 2021. This preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'll be reading the narration that will be autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's ministry message, Eternal Life and My Neighbor, Romans chapter 14, verse 7 through 15. For none of us live to himself, and none of us dies to himself. For if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother? Or you, why do you despise your brother? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God, for it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then each of us will give an account of himself to God. Therefore, let us not pass judgment on one another any longer, but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother. I know and persuaded in the Lord Jesus that nothing is unclean in itself, but is unclean for anyone who thinks it's unclean. For if 
your brother is grieved by what you eat, you're no longer walking in love. But what you eat, do not destroy the one for whom Christ died. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. And today's Bible, July seventeenth, twenty twenty one. This is preached by Pastor June Park. I'll be reading the narration of the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's use mystery message: Eternal Life and My Neighbor. Luke chapter ten, verse twenty five to thirty seven. And behold, a lawyer stood up to put him to the test, saying, Teacher. What shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, "What is written in the law? How do you read it?" And he answered, "You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself." And he said to him, "You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live." But he, desiring to justify himself, said to Jesus, "And who is my neighbor?" Jesus replied, "A man." Was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among robbers, who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now, by chance, a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to. Where he was, and he saw him, he had compassion. He went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. And the next day he took out two denarii and gave him to the innkeeper, saying, "Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, I will pay you when I come back." Which of these three do you think? Proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell among the robbers, he said, "The one who showed him mercy." And Jesus said to him, "You go and do likewise." Online live. My name is Newton Ha. And today's Bible, July seventeenth, twenty twenty one. This preached by Pastor June Park. I'll be reading the narration of the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's use mystery message: Eternal life and my neighbor. Luke chapter ten, verse twenty five to thirty seven. And behold, a lawyer stood up to put him to the test, saying, "Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life?" He said to him. What is written in the law? How do you read it? And he answered, "You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself." And he said to him, "You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live." But he, desiring to justify himself, said to Jesus, "And who is my neighbor?" Jesus replied, "A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among." Robbers who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now, by chance, a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. He went to him and bound up his wounds. Pouring on oil and wine, then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. And the next day he took out two denarii and gave him to the innkeeper, saying, 
take care of him, and whatever more you spend, I will pay you when I come back. Which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor?